Markiva Morgan. I am the avionics hardware manager for the Space Launch System Core Stage. I also serve as the flight termination system integration lead for Core Stage and the exploration upper stage. Avionics are the electronics on the rocket. They're the all of the sensors and computers and electronics that tell the rocket where it is. The flight termination system is the system that allows us to uh, to terminate the rocket's propulsion should it do something it's not supposed to do in order so we can make sure we protect the public. We are by nature curious. As soon as a baby starts to crawl, that's exactly what they start doing, is exploring. And, and who we are as a species is inherent in that very first act. We are explorers, we're curious about who we are, where we came from. We, we are always looking to expand our knowledge base. This rocket is going to facilitate the acquisition of knowledge that we can't even imagine right now. We're building a rocket, and I'm happy to say building because there was a time when I would say, hey, we're designing a rocket, but we're building a rocket. We're building the largest, most powerful rocket ever. You know, one of the things I like to think about is, you know, if you watch sci-fi movies that are 75 years in the future, 100 years in the future, and they all have that dramatic scene when the astronauts are outside and the sandstorm kicks up and you wonder if they're going to make it and they're all they're struggling trying to get back into the habitat and if you look way in the distance there's a rocket out there and in those moments I get to pause and think that rocket way out there in the distance is the one we're building right now that's pretty exciting to think about that that work is happening right now I would tell a middle, a middle school student if you think about it for a middle school student by the time you graduate from college I mean, that's the time frame we're talking about right now, is yeah. when a middle school student graduates from college, we're in the zone for when we're talking about trying to launch to Mars. So that's not, that's not very far from now. One of the interesting things that, that I love sharing with people is that NASA needs more than engineers. We need graphic designers, we need excellent writers, we need people who can take uh, the expansive technical discoveries that we're making and tell the story in a way that is compelling and that uh, people who don't eat and breathe and sleep, you know, astrophysics can appreciate and know how it affects their lives. There are all sorts of career fields that are absolutely crucial to what we do. If we're going to go to Mars, we need, we need those middle schoolers to be interested in what we're doing because they're the ones who are going to do it. We need the next generation to understand the importance of discovery and, and how important, you know, uh, what we're trying to do is to humanity. Occupation STEM is a production of the IQ Learning Network, a division of Alabama Public Television. To learn more about careers in science, technology, engineering, and math, visit occupationstem.org.